Thank Coach, you. Uh, Nzeki, please take us through what you saw in 90 minutes plus. Good evening, members of the, the media. Firstly, congratulations, Coach. Congratulations you, to you and your technical team and uh, the club as a whole. Um, it's a very disappointment, uh, uh, disappointing results for all of us. Um, I think uh, whatever technical uh, explanation we are going to give in terms of how we played is not going to change the results. At the end of the day, we lost a game uh, that uh, we were to, to win. Um, so we are out of the cup. Uh, I'm as well going into the next stage of the cup and then we say congratulations to them. Thank you very much, members of the media. Um, try as much as possible to compress this to take uh, maybe, let's say, 12 minutes. Gives you enough content. <coughs> we'll start taking the Rovi mic. It will give many questions a chance if you go straight to the question without much elaboration. Let's go for it. Okay, I'm Jogo Zizi from Far Post. Uh, Coach Nzegi, um, Dupree wasn't there, Peterson and uh, Lanti. Um, just if you can tell us where they were, what's happening to them. Yeah, I think in the last uh, game we played against Cape Town City, uh, Lanti was injured before that game. Uh, he was actually uh, going through a return to play, return to training uh, in terms of the preparation going into that game. Um, George and uh, Peterson, they got injured uh, a day before before we play Cape Town City. So um, George managed to recover on time for him to be available for selection. But as for Peterson, he's still going through uh, return to, to training. Um, uh, unfortunately for Ashley Dupriya, he got injured uh, uh, a day before we, we, we came in for a Cape Town's run. So those are the injuries that uh, we sustained leading to this game. But um, we have quality players in the team. We had to uh, regroup and come up with a plan in terms of uh, giving other players a chance. Uh, we saw Ranga starting today. Uh, we saw Gonzalez coming in. So um, the club has got uh, players that were brought to, to, to help whenever there are situations like that one of injuries. Let's roll. Uh, coach, I mean, we, I'm Jamal here from Miss Winifo. Uh, we saw, I mean, and several since towards the end of the game, I mean, something that has been happening quite a bit this season. I mean, how are you handling that on a personal note? And why, in terms of with everything that you've sort of experienced, what is it that would make you want to continue on this job and, and trying to turn things around? I think it's a difficult one. Uh, if one has to explain um, the space I find myself, because um, I always say when you prepare, you prepare to win. But when you lose uh, games like this, uh, um, you're always worried about what will happen at the end of the game. And I don't think uh, it's actually uh, a good thing for football because uh, um, it has turned out to be more like uh, every training session you have is your last training session. Every game you play is your last game because you're more worried about uh, the results. And uh, I've been saying uh, it's preparation, preparation, preparation. Yes, um, you're not getting results and uh, you own up as a, as a coach that the results are not coming. But uh, when, when things like this happen for a third time, it is not only affecting the, you as a coach, it also affects your players. Because when they get to hear and they get to see what happens to their coach when they lose matches, it also uh, becomes a reflection on them to say, what if tomorrow I'm the next one? Uh, when I did not have a good game. But I think in terms of uh, uh, South African football supporters, I think uh, the bigger challenge is that uh, we are not uh, very supportive and not uh, very uh, patient when results are not coming. Uh, I think Coach said something very interesting now. Yes, when they started the season, uh, it was a building phase. They were not getting the results they wanted. But I think uh, the support that he got from the supporters, from the management, uh, and from the players, uh, he's now talking bravely and very happy to say, because of hard work, we are now getting results. And I think it is uh, very unfortunate uh, for incidents like this uh, to happen in football. But uh, who am I uh, to bring a stop to 
um, incidents like this. But at the end of the day, it uh, it worries you more because uh, you are a family person, uh, you are a South African, uh, and uh, you you see your people not having patience in, in the hard work that you put into. But at the end of the day, it's football. You win some, you lose some, and the day you get hired, the door is open for you to exit. And that's football for us. If you don't get results, you should be ready to, to get fired. Uh, but uh, the manner in which it is happening, it is actually not the case of Chiefs way. Uh, and I think uh, uh, maybe going forward, uh, we need to look into ourselves and uh, be supportive of uh, this beautiful brand. And uh, in supporting this beautiful brand, it means you love everybody who is involved with this brand. So uh, a love and peace slogan, it's uh, what has carried Kesachis for so many years. And I think uh, that will continue. We we'll continue to be a love, uh, a love and peace uh, brand that we have had for the past 53 years. So. I think uh, these are incidents that uh, doesn't leave a very good taste uh, when it comes to the club as a whole, uh, the brand as a whole. But I hope uh, the supporters will learn to understand that uh, results are not <coughs> determined um, uh, by, by individuals before the game started. Results are determined by the goals you score and the goals you concede. And it's just unfortunate today that uh, we gave away uh, that goal in the, in the critical phase. And when you look at it, we could have stopped, we could have defended that goal to go in. But the importance of the game being a cup game and for us wanting to, to go all the way and win this cup, uh, I would say it's a big disappointment from their side. And it's also a big disappointment from the club as a whole. From me as a coach, uh, I'm very disappointed. But uh, what else can I do? The result as of now, it's a uh, case of Chiefs lost against Amazulu and we're not going to the next round. We wish to stay here the whole night. Unfortunately, we'll take yours as the last one. Thank Good. you. Um, saying it? I was saying the second part of the question. Um, no, so, um, Repeat it again quickly. Um, with this incident, and then what does it say? What is it that is making you want to continue on this track? I don't think it's a, it's, a, it's a question that has to be answered now because uh, I'm employed by the club. Um, we have technical conversations. We look into incidents like this and we have meetings to discuss what are possibilities going forward. But for, for you to ask a question to say, how do I see my future at Kesa Chiefs? I don't think this is the platform for us to entertain that question. Thank you. Last question, Coach, please. Um, <clears throat> The second cup, you exit. Uh, obviously, friend, uh, uh, fans are, are, are very angry. Um, where do you draw strength and confidence to actually continue sitting there? Because obviously, your safety is also not guaranteed after this. I think the same question, uh, just that you put it in a different way. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.